Automatic sliding doors are the norm at most supermarkets and large retailers. Sensors detect your approach and prompt the doors to slide open. They open when you arrive and close when you depart, which is convenient when your hands are full. These automatic sliding doors are custom made to fit the customer's door opening. The doors are programmed to open in one and a half seconds, but that can be adjusted during installation. The door structure and frame are made of aluminum that's been heated to a softened state. It's then forced through a die to give it a specific shape. A computer-guided saw cuts these aluminum pieces to the length required for this order. This is one of the pieces that will form the vertical side of the door structure. Workers insert durable weather stripping into a built-in track. They collapse the end to lock the strip in place. On the opposite side, they fasten long threaded rods. The rods are used to attach the rails. The rails fit over the rod and are securely fastened to the door frame with an alignment clip and nut. Once workers have assembled the two door structures, they install a pivot at the top of each one. This top pivot allows the door to swing outward when you push the emergency exit bar. Then they assemble the door hanger. It connects the door to the top of the frame. The hanger rolls on two wheels. A urethane rubber one allows the door to move sideways along a track and a plastic one which prevents the door from going off the track. They attach the door's top pivot to the hanger. An access control release is needed to open the doors in case of emergency. Workers install it in the sections of the door frame that meet when the two doors close together. When you push the emergency bar, this mechanism rotates to let the door swing open. The hanger detent prevents the door from swinging open during normal operation. It attaches the access control release to the door hanger. Workers complete the door structures by applying legally required safety decals. Meanwhile, at another station, workers install the door's electronics in the header. This is one of the many infrared sensors that trigger the doors to open. The sensors detect people approaching by reading the invisible heat energy humans give off. After loading the nuts, they'll need to fasten the remaining components to the header's track. They install a pulley, part of the drive system that moves the doors. Then they slide the header's cover into a track and continue installing components. First, the end caps, which attach the header to the door frame. Then the door controller, the brains of the entire system. It has built-in operational software. You can run the doors on the defaults or customize the settings. Now for the rest of the drive system. They install an electric motor and pulley. The motor has a switch that detects the door's position. Next, a timing belt is looped around two pulleys. They adjust the distance between the pulleys to tighten the belt. The door installers will do a more precise adjustment on site. Every header undergoes extensive computerized testing. This checks the function and safety features. Then the door frame and structure ship out to the building site where the glass panes go in prior to installation.